In today's YouTube video, I got you guys with the top five best AR loadouts after the update on Rebirth Island. Now, there's really not going to be any type of order or anything like that or what is the best ARs after the update. Just know that if you use one of these guns, you're just bound to drop a high kill gameplay alone that probably win majority of your matches. But listen though, man, I want to give you guys a challenge real quick. If this video can hit 300 likes in 24 hours, I will make a top five fastest killing guns on Rebirth Island, okay? So make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like if you guys want to see that one. So let's go ahead and jump straight to the video real quick. Now the number one class up right here, man, is the M13. I have to put the M13 in this video just because this gun is actually pretty good. Even on console, this gun has no type of rico also it has some very very good damage that is why i am putting it in my top five list you guys must have the m13 in your inventory especially your rebirth all right now here's the class so that you should be rocking on your inter in your m13 as of right now the monolith suppressor the marshman brother command the foregrip the 50 round max and the corp comeback hollow sight of course with the blue dot reticle and one thing about the magazine especially on rebirth i never rocked the biggest one just because i do not see a point in it at all whatsoever the only thing that it does pretty much just kill your aim down sight speed a lot and i feel like with the 50 round okay even though it also kills your aim down sight speed it's just not as as much as the 60 of course the plus 50 is just as enough as you need to pretty much just to wipe an entire team all right for the second class sub man for the number two enlist man you guys been seeing me rock this gun a lot recently and that is the core ak-47 listen i'm not gonna lie to you if you are a person who knows how to control your recoil a lot you're gonna you're gonna pretty much just love the core ak-47 the damage on this gun is really crazy especially the headshot multiplier all right so let's go ahead and jump to this class for this now this is what you should be rocking on your core ak-47 the Groot Suppressor, the Spandex RBK Barrel, which is going to help out that vertical slash horizontal rear control that this gun does need for sure. Along with that, we got the underbarrel spin out grip, which also helps out with the Rico Show magazine. Of course, man, I am rocking the 45 round and not the 60. Okay, trust me with 45 round. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Maybe with 60, you, you, you could probably get away with 60 just because sometimes with 45, it kind of like runs out ammo like a little bit. So if you want to go ahead and test it out for yourself or whatever, go ahead and try out 60. But me personally, guys, I like rocking the 45 just so I can have that quick ADSP, especially on rebirth. Make sure you guys are rocking that right there. And for your Axorns 3X man. That is what we are rocking for the optic, okay? So this is a, a clutch class up to rock, with, especially for the AK-47, all right? All right, man, so for that number three class so we got right here is the exit four. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not going to lie to you. It really does not hit the way it used to back in the day. But listen, as it goes like a real control and as damage goes, it's not that bad at all whatsoever. You guys can still with this gun okay it's just not as old as it used to be back in the day all right so here's the class that we rock on the xm4 the age suppressor the task force for the age grip for five round mag and the axon arms 3x okay so all these attacks right here are just pretty much just recoil control attachments like i said with the magazine you want to you can rock a 60 but me personally i just prefer rocking the 45 all this is sub preference up to you but yeah this is the class of the hour honestly um prefer you guys to rock on rebirth island all right all right man so for the number four class that we got right here is the em2 which seems like it just fell off the chart for whatever reason may be this gun is still good in my personal opinion the only thing that it does struggle with just a little bit is just the recoil control but other than that man the damage on this gun is just absolutely just crazy here's the em2 class up if you guys want to go ahead and give it a shot real quick um, so this is the age suppressor the task for barrel the field age grip which should help out with the rico just a little bit magazine we got right here is the 40 round max the optic guys we got right here is the axle arms threx okay so go ahead and try the em2 class setup out that is show you right now and let me know how you guys feel about it now for the last class setup man number five i had to give you guys the vargo 52 just because this gun is actually pretty good now ever since they fixed the reload glitch that it did have once this previous release man you guys need to go ahead and use it because it is actually pretty good surprisingly now for the viral 52 here are the tests that i do use now this is the groove suppressor the task for barrel the spent night grills and along with that man we got the optic it's the astronauts 3x now i know i've been telling you guys to use the shorter man now listen for for the vargo in particular right the vargo 50 the vargo 52 has like a crazy fire rate so there's no point in rocking 45 at all whatsoever it's just it's just simply just not enough to like you know kill like three enemies or two enemies all at once so therefore go ahead and rock the 60 on top of that it actually has 
has like a very very good like reload speed and all that okay so make sure you guys are rocking the 60 okay but hey though man that wraps up today's video if you guys did enjoy these top five ars man make sure you guys go subscribe to the channel don't forget to drop a like today's video and hey let's see this video get hit 300 likes in 24 hours and i'm out boys peace